hi guys welcome back to another video of easy tutorials today in this video we are going to create a music player using html css and javascript here on my computer screen you can see this music player where i have added this song thumbnail image then song name and artist name then you can see this progress bar that will be moving when we will start playing the song here you can see this play icon when we click on this play icon it will start playing the song even when you feel low you can still go even when you feel slow you can still go once i click the pause icon it pauses the song we can click on any part of this progress line and the song will start playing from the particular time let's see when you feel low you can still go even when you feel slow you can still go even when it's now now i have clicked on pause icon let's click on this point of time when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go You can see this dot in this progress bar is increasing as this song is playing When we pause this song, this dot stops at the current time of the playing song We will create this music player using HTML, CSS and JavaScript So before starting this video, please hit the like button and subscribe my channel Easy Tutorials Now, let's start the video here in this folder, I have one HTML file, one CSS file and another folder called media and in this folder you can see one mp3 file that is our song and here we have one image that is the song thumbnail image. You will find this image download link in the video description. Now let me open these files with my code editor which is Visual Studio Code. You can use any code editor. So this is the HTML file where you can see the basic HTML structure. And this one is the CSS file where I have added margin padding, font family and box sizing. This is applicable for all the HTML elements. In this HTML file, within this body tag we will add one div with the class name container. Next we will add the CSS for this container. Here we will add the width, height and background. After adding this, let's come back to the folder and open this HTML file with any web browser. So you can see this dark color on the complete web page. Let me close this browser and I will open the website with the Visual Studio Code extension called Live Server so that it will refresh the website automatically whenever we will add any changes in the code file. So you can see the same web page again. Now let's come back and within this container we will create another div with the class name music player next we will add the css for this music player for this music player i have added background to change the background color then we have added the width and some padding that will be a space inside the player and text align center so that all the contents inside the music player will be aligned center now just come back to the website again you can see this colored box in the top left corner so we have to move it in the center for that in this container we have added display align items justify content and flex wrap after adding this again come back to the website and now you can see this colored box in the center of the web page in this music player box we will create one navigation bar and in that navigation bar we will add some icons to add any icon we will come to the website fontawesome.com here you have to create an account for free then go to kids then click here and here you will get this one line of a script just copy this one and come to the html file and add it here before this closing head tag after adding this we can add any icon on our website so within this music player we will add one nav tag 
and in this nav we will add one div with the class name circle and in this circle we will add one icon so let's come back to the same website again and click on icons here we will search for one icon so let's search left angle click on this free icon and here we have the icons so let me click on this one we will use this icon so click here and copy this one line of a script and come back to the code file place it here so it will add one icon on our web page let me duplicate this circle and here we will add another icon so again come back and here we will search for another icon bars and let's click on the first one click here to copy this line come back to the html file and place it here so we have added two icons in the div with the class name circle after adding this again come back to the website here you can see angle icon and menu icon we have to align it left and right side and we will add the background color in the circular shape so let's come back here we have the tag nav so we will add this css for this nav tag in this nav i have added display flex justify content space between so it will align both div in the same horizontal line and there will be a space between both the div and we have added margin at the bottom to add some space at the bottom you can see these icons in the left side and right side next we will add the css for these circle so let's copy this one and add it here with the nav tag nav dot circle in this circle we have added border radius that will make the div circular and width and height line height and background then text color and box shadow after adding this you can see these icons looks good with the circular background color which is white next we will add one song image in this music player so let's come back after closing of this nav tag here we will add one img write the file path so the folder name is media then slash thumbnail dot png and in this one we will add one class name song img right now you can see this image so we will design this image so just come back and copy this class name song image write it here in this css file for this song image we will add width then border radius to make it circular then border of 8 pixels so that there will be one white color of border around the image and box shadow after adding this you can see this thumbnail image looks very good next we will add the song title and uh, artist name so just come back and after this image here we will add the song title in h1 then we will add the artist name in p tag we are simply writing any song name or any artist name and after that let's come back to the website you can see this text just below the thumbnail image so we will add the css for these text so let's come back here in this css file here we will add music player then h1 we have 
changed the font size, font weight, color and added some space from the top. Again write this, music player, then P for the text, change the font size, then color. After that, these text looks good. After adding this song information, we will add one audio song in this HTML file. So let's come back to the HTML file and after this text, here we will add one audio tag and with this audio tag we will add controls and within this tag we will add source. In this source let's add src and write the file path of the song. So it is in the media folder media slash the song name and after that we will add the type so the type will be audio slash mpeg this is for the mp3 file type after adding this come back to the website you can see this song just below these text now we can click on this play icon to play this song and pause this song even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. And when you click again, it will pause the song and we can drag this uh, progress bar to change the song position. Now we will create our own progress bar. For that, let's come back to the HTML file. And after this audio, we will add one input. Input type will be range and uh, let's add the value value will be zero here you can see one range selector we can increase and decrease the value like this next we have to design it so let's come back and uh, with this input we will add one id so the id is progress like this Copy this id, come to the CSS file. Here we will add the hashtag and progress because it is an id. We have to hide the default range slider and we will add our own. So here we will add webkit appearance none. So it will hide the default range slider. You can see that horizontal line is hidden here we have this box so just come back let's add width height background then border radius cursor and margin now you can see this horizontal line with new color next we will design this dot that is blue right now so let's come back again write this progress then double colon webkit slider thumb so we have to customize this one again write this webkit appearance none so the default one will be hidden and here we will add our own design so we have added the background width height and border radius to make it circular and border of 8 pixel solid white color so there will be one white color of border around this circle and box shadow so now you can see this dot looks very nice just below this progress bar we will add the control icons so let's come back and here we have the input 
type range so here let's add a space and write another div with the class name controls within this control we will add one div and inside this div we will add one icon that will be the backward icon so let's come back to the font awesome website again and search for backward icon let's click on this backward icon click here to copy this one and come back to the html file and place it here let's duplicate this line and here we will replace these icons so in the third one we will add the forward icon so here let's come back and search for forwards click here and paste it here and in this middle one we will add the play icon or we can add the pause icon so let's come back and here we will search for play copy this first icon and add it here after adding these three icons with the div let's come back to the website again and now you can see these icons here backward play and forward we will design these icons and align it horizontally so just come back and here we have the class name controls let's copy this one and add it here so for this controls we will add display flex so all the images will be aligned horizontally and justify content will be center and align items center inside this controls we have added div so write div and for these div we will add So here we have added the width and height and margin to add a space between the divs and we have added the background white display inline flex align item center justify content center so that the icon inside that div will be in the center here we have added border radius 50 percent so it will make the div circular and we have changed the color and box shadow cursor pointer after that you can see all these three icons looking good next we will increase the size of the center icon which is the play icon and we will also change the background color and the icon color so let's come back and copy this controls and div then write nh child 2 for the second div here we will increase the size so write transform scale 1.5 so it will be larger than the other one here we will add the background and color color will be white after adding this you can see this play icon looks good next we have to add the feature whenever we will add the play icon it should play the music and when we will click on this slider it should also play the song this range slider or progress bar will be running when the song is playing so let's come back here in this html file just above this closing body tag here we will add one script tag script open and closing tag in this script we will add the variable so write let progress equal to document dot get element by id and write the id which is progress so we have added one variable now let's duplicate it and here we will add song and here we will add the control icon for that we will add c t r l i c o n control icon and we have to add the id also so here you can see we have the audio and in this audio we will add one id so let's add the id song and copy this 
id edit here song here we have the play icon that will be the control icon to play or pause the song so in this i tag here we will add a space and write id control icon c t r l icon copy this one and paste it here now let's add one space here and here we will add this song dot on load metadata equal to function on loading this song here we will add the progress dot max equal to song dot duration let's duplicate it and here we will add progress dot value equal to song dot current time after that we have to add the play and pause feature on this div which is the play icon so in this div we will add on click equal to play pause like this and now we will add it here one function play pause and we will add the script here in this one we have to play the song so it will check whether the icon is play icon or pause icon right now we have not added the pause icon so let's come back to the website and here if we write pause you can see this icon and it is same as the play icon let's see the code for the play icon here it is fa solid fa play and it will be fa solid fa pause so if we will replace this class name fa pause it will become the pause icon so let's come back to the script again and here we will add if this control icon dot class list dot contains if this class list contains the fa pause then it should pause the song so here we will add song dot pause that's it and else we will add song dot play when the song is paused we will add the play icon so let's add control icon dot class list dot remove first it will remove the class name that is pause so it will remove this pause class name and it will add the new class name which is play so the icon will be changed as play icon again copy this one and paste it here in this else condition and here we will update it as add and this one remove after adding this it will update the icon also when we will pause or play the song so let's come back and check this one if we will click here even when you feel low you can still go even when you feel slow you can still go you can see it is starting this song and it is also stopping this song but right now this range slider is not increasing it is not moving so we have to update the value of this range slider so let's come back and uh, here after this function here we will add if song 
dot play it means if the song is playing so you can see here we have added progress dot value equal to song dot current time so it will update the current time but the current time should update every second so here we will add set time interval and we will update it at every 500 milliseconds and write progress dot value equal to song dot current time that's it we have added the same thing which is written here but we are updating it at every 500 millisecond which is half second so let's come back to the website and if we will play this song this slider should be moving let's see even when you feel low you can still go even when you feel slow you can still go even when there's no hope you can still go i never answered no and when we pause the song it pauses at the same time position now we have to play the song when we will click anywhere on this slider or progress bar and it should also update the song time when we click anywhere so let's come back here we will add progress dot on change equal to function if there will be any change in the progress bar or the horizontal slider here we will add song dot play so it will play the song whenever we will add any change in the progress bar and it should also update the song current time so here we will add this one song dot current time equal to progress value because when we will click anywhere in the progress bar it will update the progress value and that progress value will be updated in the song current time and after that we should also update the icon so here we will copy this one and paste it here so when the song is playing it will add the pause icon and it will remove the play icon after updating this again come back to the website and let's click anywhere in this slider or progress bar and it will start playing the song from the particular time so it is working fine right now we have displayed this basic control also so that you can see our controls and this progress bar is working same as the default one now we can remove this default control icons so let's come back and here in this html file here we have added the audio and written controls so just remove this controls save the file and come back to the website now you can see there is no default control option we can only see the song thumbnail name and this slider that will be the progress bar for the song time and here we have the play icon and when we click the play icon the song will be playing and it will display the pause icon to pause the song so finally we have completed this music player using html css and javascript i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one thank you so much for watching this video